So, this is my toolbox. Um, as you can see, it's pretty full and full of absolute nonsense. So, let's go through and see what's what. It's wire. Some screen mesh. Very useful. Lasts a long, long time. More cheap garden wire, but it does the job. <laughs> string. You never know when. You might need to string something up. This. I can't remember what this is. It's for plasters or something. It's. Let me see if I can. Undo it. It's basically, I use it as this, but it's a very cheap version. It costs like two pounds this whole roll, and I've still got it four years later. But it gets it's sticky, so it gets stuck, and you have to spend ages cutting it out. Basically, I use that in yogurt pots, butter pots. Instead of using the more, I keep this for the clay pots basically. Rogue water, right? Uh, paintbrush. I use that to brush clean my LED light. Get the dust off it. Hacksaw. Um, yeah. In case you need to hack. I did have another saw, but I've I've lost it. Um, the brown brush that everyone has but nobody uses. Um, it's awfully cheap and useless. Maybe one day I'll brush something. Right, loose wires, measuring tape to measure. These are little watering can lids. Yeah. yeah, water comes out. Awesome, very cheap, very awesome. Very good for indoors. Right, scissors. These are my standard go to scissors. Big fan of these. Uh, what else? As you can see, it's a bit mess. Right, these big. Chunky. I use these for roots. It's good to keep a separate pair. Top cutting, root cutting. It's uh, another pair of scissors. Don't really use, but got them there if needed. So just off cuts of wire. You never know when you're gonna need off cuts of wire. Just some carpenter's tool. You can crunch things with it. It's pretty much a branch, a branch splitter. But I think it's a. I can't remember what it is. I think it's for removing nails or something. Marker pen. A pair of pliers in there. Gym pliers. Okay. You need the bent wire, don't, don't use that much, but good to have. Uh, just wire cutters, as you can see, they're not very well looked after. That's what I do most of a wire cutting with. Well, all of it. The fork, which you can see that's quite bent, whatever I've must have. Can't remember doing that, but. This is my, this is my rake. There's a, there's, there's an actual rake, but um, yeah, it's useless. Fork, all day long, fork. Uh, some very thin copper wire. Uh, go with my fork, I've got my spoon. It's a little spoon things in. 
what do you call this rooting hormone about I've had that for about four or five years that just lasts forever it's always good for cuttings little little scissors as you can see they're a lot smaller than these ones so these are for little leaves toothbrushes cleaning chunks and whatnot pen knife which can be useful for earlier in the knife with these multi tool thing sometimes I use that pliers basically if you remember one video I had I had this around the trunk, I was told that down because I couldn't find any stones, so probably not the best use of it now, it's a bit rusty, but whatever. Uh, ooh, bank card, I can't remember what that's for. Obviously spending money, but not on that one. Loose wire. It's tape, electrical tape. Air layers. Wraps of plastic around the air there. Very, very good. Little screwdrivers, nice for those. Uh, nails. There's a trick where you put them in the plant pot and they rust and it gives the plant iron. So, it's a needle trick. A little it's a box cutter, Stanley knife thing. Pla uh, tweezers. Wouldn't mind a bigger pair, but this is okay to get the wee delicate leaves that have fallen off. I don't use uh, chopsticks, but I've got, got these little bad boys, little cocktail sticks. Good for poking in soil. And the little pots. Seems you can use these, or I can even use the nails to do that. I often use bits of wire and just poke that, poke the soil down the wire, get in there and wiggle it around. There's another square that can be reused. It's more the electrical tape, it's like a pound or that, and that will last your whole life. Another spoon to spoon. Uh, these are the knob cutters, these are. These are pretty good. I like knob cutters. These are wire cutters, apparently. Although they, you know, struggle to cut wire. Like, oh, just about did that. That took a lot of force. You know, been where they really these concave branch cutters are in a bit of a state right see where you can see light coming through there it means they're not meeting up so You can see they're not in line, they're all wrecked. Completely useless. They don't even match meet up in the middle anymore, they're wrecked. I need a new pair of these. These are these are awesome, but not this pair, these are wrecked. Right, apparently that cut off there, but um yeah, standing like for air layers. Very useful. This is just, I think it's a ladder opener, but it's, I don't know, my Gurkha sword. As you, as every good toolbox needs a Gurkha sword. Other rake slash fork. It's got the old three prongs as opposed to the four. I like this one better. 
long scissors for getting in there. Don't really use them much. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, diamond files. Let's try and sharpen tools, but limited success with that. These things, maybe leaf cutter or something, officially useless. Another nail. Nuts. About everything. Yeah. Got some PVA glue. I'm gonna start sealing some little cuts with that. Use some. We'll see how that goes. Should be okay. As you see, a bit of a tight fit. Now, if anything happened to my tools and I don't know they got lost or something, and you said at the start again, what would I buy? These scissors. I use these 99% of the time. Very good scissors. I'd buy a pair of root scissors. You want to keep them separate because these get mashed up in the dirt. Well, these are for the top, so. Get yourself two pairs of scissors. Don't have to be these type, could be any type, but you want a good thick pair for those crunchy roots. I'd probably get a pair of these, but you know, a good pair. Maybe a knob cutter, but I could probably do without that. And my good old rig. That would be my bare minimum starter. Kit, which you can't even see. <laughs> there you go. Right, so my bare minimum of these four. And maybe a wire cutter if you want to get into wiring, but that can come later and you've probably already got a pair of those. And then if you're a film fancy, get a pair of these as well. But these these are the top four. If I just had these, I could do pretty much everything. So, big fan of these. I've got an Amazon link below. You can click on that, and most of these things are on here, and most of the other things in the toolbox. But if you're just starting out, these, these are what you want. Anything else you can add in the future and. Whatnot. I had one of those, you know, those full out all the tools, which is where some of these have come from. They're only like 30 quid, they're cheap, but they're cheap for a reason, they're shit. Um, you're better paying 30 quid to get a good pair of this than 30 quid to get the whole set. As for the box, there was a shisha pipe in here, but threw that out because I'm no smoker. Now I just keep everything in it. It's pretty small but it holds everything. Like I said, you don't need these for anyway. And then I'll give you a little look at the difference between these because there's a lot of arguments and debate are they any different or useful to each other. But similar if you can get away if using either or but like, the more advanced you get, the more you realise there's a difference. But as a beginner, you can just get with chop. Yeah, so that's my toolbox and what I would recommend to get. Just before I go, I've realised I'm missing a few things. They must have got lost in the move from London. I used to have a pair of surgical scissors like this. They're just another decent pair of scissors to use for pruning. I also used to have a knife. I really hope it's not ended up back in the kitchen drawer. I find these are good for putting down the edges of a pot, trying to pry out the tree when repotting. I also have this branch bender thing. It's not lost, it's just not in the toolbox for some reason. 
I've never used it. I'm sure most of you have one, but have you used yours? Let me know below. I also used to have some standard gardening tools, which is still decent to have for anything larger. These saws are great for cutting through bigger things. I'm also missing my secateurs, which can easily replace scissors and branch cutters, especially for thicker branches. Lastly, I've lost my loppers, very useful for larger material, so I'll have to buy some of these again. Thanks for watching, see you next time.